Hello everybody and welcome to my video and I'm super excited because this is my first vlog video since my one year anniversary and I thought what better way to do one of these videos than with the reveal of a new game. I'm speaking of course of Remember Me. The game was unveiled at Gamescon 2012 in Cologne, Germany and it was really the big showstopper of the event. And to be honest, I'd never really heard of Gamescon. I mean, I know it's an industry event for video games, but I mean, it really gets overshadowed by some of the bigger ones like E3, the Tokyo Game Show, and PAX. The game's being developed by a new and relatively obscure developer called Don't Not Entertainment. But because it's being published by Capcom, it gives this title a lot more credibility. I mean, I never got over the whole DLC fiasco with Marvel vs. Capcom 3. However, over the last year or so, Capcom has taken a leap of faith, if you will, with new IPs such as Dragon's Dogma and Azura's Wrath. So who knows, maybe Remember Me will bring something new and fresh to the table. And by the way, if you haven't yet seen this demo, then I suggest you click the annotation I'm about to present to you and go see it for yourself. So let's talk about the big demo reveal that premiered at Gamescom 2012. Now I'm going to put this out there first and foremost because I really want to get it out of the way quickly, but I really hate the title name for this game. I mean, the purpose of a game title is to draw players in, and I really don't think the title Remember Me does that. Having said that, I was blown away by the demo, and if anything, it made me rethink that maybe I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. We open up in Neo Paris in the year 2084, and we get the feeling that Paris has become a police state, or at least a surveillance state. You get the sense that there's no real sense of privacy, and all your movements are tracked and monitored. You know, it's very dark, it's very gritty, it very much exemplifies a lot of the tropes found in cyberpunk. You have this character and you also get the sense that there's a lot of augmented reality going around. A lot of the signs are actually holograms and a lot of the advertisements on the storefronts are not actually there, but you see them nonetheless because they're projected through your eyesight. Now the game opens up to a 28 year old amnesiac named Nilin and it's obvious she's on the run from something. Now at first you think she's an assassin because at the beginning of the demo she's given a message from her brother Edge to take out this high ranking military official that's not too far from her location. Now eventually you do end up right outside his window and you think she's going to kill him at first. But once she's outside his window she uses this technique called remixing which allows her to go inside his mind and alter his memories. I mean it was literally a mind fuck. I mean this was the big aha moment of the demo. Now once you go inside a person's mind, it's very bright, it's very stylized, and it's clear that developers wanted to build a contrast between the dark, gritty setting of real life as opposed to the bright, white, optimistic setting of the memories themselves. Now before you can alter anything inside a person's mind, the memory itself is played in classic cinematic fashion. So the memory opens up with this high-ranking military chief who's in a drunken stupor and has a huge fight with his ex-wife and she basically leaves him. But by manipulating a lot of the objects in the scene like a liquor bottle and a handgun, the memory plays out differently and actually results in the chief killing his ex-wife. And as a result of this altered memory of the chief killing his wife, he actually commits suicide right then and there. I mean to be honest the demo kind of starts out a little cliched, I mean it's this near future cyberpunk setting and we've seen this a lot of times before. We've seen it with Deus Ex, we've seen it with Perfect Dark. I think what really surprised me about this game was it does what good science fiction is supposed to do and that is really question the nature of humanity. I mean if we could alter memories to the point where we can take out traumatic events in people's lives and ultimately heal them, could we also implant bad memories and cause people to do unspeakable acts that they otherwise wouldn't do? Now it wasn't until several weeks later that my friend told me that a second demo was actually released for the same game. I mean the demo is essentially one giant set piece wherein the lead character Nellen is chased through the rooftops of Paris by a helicopter trying to gun her down. And what really bothered me about this chase sequence was that with the hundreds or thousands of bullets expunged throughout this entire set piece, she did not get hit a single time. And really this bothers me for three reasons. The first obvious is I have no idea how the health system works in this demo. I mean do you have an actual health meter or is it more akin to say Call of Duty wherein as long as you find cover or shelter for a few seconds you'll be fine in the end. The second reason is when you have a demo where the player doesn't get hurt it feels too much like a demo. It feels 
too sleek, too polished. I mean, watching that demo made me think that I could just stay in one spot and not get shot at all. And you have to really question the game's difficulty at this point, because it looked as though I could just pick up the controller and get through this chase sequence in one sitting. Maybe I'm overreaching when I say this, but to me it felt like that second demo took out all of the mystery and all of the allure that the first demo built up. And I really don't know what to make of this game, other than I'm really excited to play it once it gets released tentatively set at May 2013. And that's why I want to hear your opinions about both demos for Remember Me. Did you like them? Did you dislike them? Do you agree with my opinions? Do you disagree with them? Feel free to post a comment in the comment section below. That being said, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel.